All right, hello guys. Welcome to another video. Today I am making a video about my top 10 essentials. It's a very random top 10, uh, but nonetheless, let's get into the video. All right, my first item is my hat. Now you might've seen, if you watched some of my previous videos, me wearing this hat. And if not this one, I'm wearing a different one. I'm always wearing hats. Uh, one reason is because I like it. I love wearing hats. I, I try to fit it into every uh, outfit that I choose for that day. Obviously, if it's a very casual outfit, it's pretty easy. Um, but I also wear hats to, to protect my head uh, from the sun. Uh, I usually rock a shaved head. So when I'm wearing the hat, it protects me from the sun so I don't get burnt on top of my head as well. And I like the way they look. I mean, honestly, it's just a really uh, easy accessory to an outfit. Uh, number two goes along sort of with what I was just saying and it is a good razor. So right now, this is what I use, the Gillette uh, five head, I believe, if I'm not mistaken. I use this one a lot. Um, it's very easy to use. It lasts me a good amount of time. The blades last a good month and a half or so. And I use it often, I use it every two days almost. So I always need something good quality, especially if I'm putting it on my head, I don't want it to scratch me or cut me or any of that, any of those things. So this is a good one. This is the one that I prefer, the Gillette Five Head Fusion, I believe. Cool, so moving on to number three. Um, this product I started using maybe close to a year ago, and I love it, I absolutely love it. It's from a brand called Mapling, or Maplin. Here you can see it. It is a face cleanser. I absolutely, absolutely love this stuff. Um, it lasts a long time, all you need is just a little bit, and it smells incredible. It is a bergamot, jasmine, and cedarwood smell. So it's fantastic. The first one I ever got was a very small package, and I was sold immediately. And I think they're pretty cheap. I think this one's like 15 or $19, one of those two. Um, really, really good stuff. It smells incredible. I usually just use it when I'm in the shower uh, to wash my face. I even use it to wash my beard sometimes. Um, great, great stuff. So that's number three, face cleanser. Number four will have to be my headphones. For me, uh, it's my Apple EarPods, AirPods? I don't even know the name. Whatever those are, um, the wireless ones. This is the first generation one um, that came out. They are fantastic. I have no complaints. I, have he I hear people having mixed, uh, mixed thoughts about them. I have no issues with them. I bike with one every now and then. It does not fall out. I've even boxed with, with them on. They don't fall out. For me, they work fantastic. The sound is really good for me. Uh, I'm not really that picky when it comes to these. And uh, the battery lasts me a long time too. I think I charge this every two or three days sometimes maybe even a little bit longer. Um, but yeah, obviously you can choose between this one or the new one that just came out recently, um, but either one works. Number five would have to be my rings. So I have two different styles of rings. I mean, I have a couple other ones, but these are my main my main go-to. This is a vintage, uh, vintage piece right here for my index. It's pretty thick, which is why I like it fits me perfectly. The details on it, I love how it's super worn in. I'm always, always wearing this when I go out. This is my favorite, one of my favorite rings by far. And then this is my pinky signet ring, which I recently got in March. And I got this one, it's 18 karat, super, super nice. But yeah, those are my two favorite, favorite rings. So that is number five. Cool, moving on to item number six, kind of goes along with the rings as far as uh, accessories and jewelry. Number six is without a doubt my one of my favorite, favorite pieces that I have ever owned. Um, and it is my watch. In this case, this is my personal everyday watch that I wear um, and it is my Rolex. 
Now this is my Rolex model reference number 1601 in the two-tone as you can see. Um, this is a 1966, uh, circa 1966 uh, model. Love, love, love vintage. Uh, so I looked into this and I wanted something specific, something I didn't want to just get the first thing I saw. So it took me about a year or so to find the right one. I knew I wanted something with a black dial and I knew I wanted something that was two-tone. Because of my jewelry, as you can see, I wear silver and I wear gold, right? Because I mix a lot, I wanted something that had both silver and gold. Um, but what I like about this, of course, too, like a Rolex as opposed to like a Timex, uh, a watch like this with this kind of brand and this name behind it and the history behind it will always keep its value. Um, but yeah, that is number six on the list. Cool, moving on to number seven. Number seven will have to be my fragrances. Normally, I don't like to tell people what fragrance I wear, but uh, I figured I'd make an exception and show you guys on video. Okay, so my first fragrance, I have two go-tos, is from a brand called Frederick Mall. So you can see the name there, Frederick Mall. And this specific one is called Promise. Now this is a 50 millimeter one. It's very woody and strong, but it gets a lot of attention. Like honestly, when I wear this, there's not one day that goes by that someone doesn't stop me randomly in the street or someone that knows me will ask me, hey man, what are you wearing? So yeah, Frederick Mall, promise. The other one is a very, very new one that I just added uh, as well. I bought this in March, so a few months ago. This one is called Baccarat Rouge 540. And this one's a little bit bigger. So this is a 70 millimeter as opposed to the first one was 50. So I haven't used it that much yet. It is a different scent. The first one was like strong and oody. This is a little more sweet, um, which I really, really like. Uh, but yeah, these are the two go-to right here. And uh, yeah, Baccarat Rouge, 540, and Frederick Mall Promise. Cool, that's number seven. Number eight. Number eight is something that we all have. It is my phone. Um, obviously, this is with me every day. Um, I need it all the time, obviously, to keep in touch and contact, but I also use it sometimes to record some stuff, so it's a very easy camera that I'm, oh, it's always with me in case I don't have what I'm using now, which is my Sony. Um, yeah, this is, in this case, this is the iPhone 11 Pro Max. Uh, I, I got this one as opposed to the, the, the 11 Pro because of the camera quality. I knew I would be utilizing it a lot. Um, but yeah, this doesn't get more interesting than that. I think it's just my iPhone. Number eight. Uh, number nine is gonna tie in to number 10, and you'll see why in a second. Number nine is this bag. Cadet sling bag from Chrome. This bag I basically use every single day. It's fully waterproof. Um, you can see the lining inside, and then there's extra pockets there. Um, there's a front pocket in here as well. The material is incredible. It has its signature uh, seat belt lock here, which is super, super strong, which I absolutely love. So that is the ninth item, my Cadet Sling uh, bag from Chrome. And that leads me to my 10th essential, which is, this is number 10. This is my track bike from Bridgestone. I absolutely love it. It's super light. It uh, gets me everywhere I need to go, literally everywhere in New York. I think two videos ago on episode two, if you check it out, I talk a little bit more about it if you're interested in, in what I'm writing. But yeah, that's gonna be my 10th essential. Uh, if you have any questions on any of them or wanna know anything else about them, feel free to let me know. Um, leave them in the comment below and I'll get back to you. Um, but yeah, if you could uh, subscribe to the channel, if you can give it a thumbs up, and share it. I would very, very much appreciate it. Uh, so thank you so much for watching again, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.